Hey guys and welcome to the video on how to retrieve an access token from an Azure B2C tenant using the OAuth 2 implicit flow. The first thing I'm going to do is switch to my B2C tenant in Azure. Once you're in, go to the B2C service and go to the user flows and you should have already created a sign in sign up user flow if you haven't you can just create one i'm going to click on the one i've created here and then click on run user flow there's a link at the top here for the well known open id configuration so i'm going to click on that and it provides some really useful values for oauth2 related stuff the one I need is the authorization endpoint. So I'm going to copy that and then I'm going to head over to Postman and under a new request, click on the authorization tab. The type I want is OAuth2 because I'm using implicit flow. Get new access token. I'm going to leave the token name as it is, but under grant type, I'm going to select implicit. The URL that I just copied, I'm going to paste into here. Now Postman does have a special callback URL that you can use. This is the URL that will be redirected to after the application has been authorized, but that does need to be registered in the tenant. So if I head back to my tenant here and go to the app registration that I'm retrieving a token on behalf of, you'll see that under my redirect URIs, I've already registered that special postman callback. I'm just going to copy that there and paste it in. The client ID is the application ID of the app registration that I'm interested in. So I'm going to go to the Azure BTC tenant and copy the application ID and just paste that in there. In the scope field, I'm going to paste in a permission that I want to ask for as part of this request. Now I've set those permissions, those scopes up in another app registration which represents my API. So I'm just going to copy one of those scopes here, the read one, and just paste it in there. The state field is a field where you can enter anything you like and it will be returned as part of the response from the authorization server. It's used for sort of maintaining state in your app or checking for cross-site forgeries, that sort of thing. So I'm just going to type anything in there. Under client authentication, Click on send client credentials in the body and then request a token. Now Postman should hit my identity provider and return the sign in page that I've set up. So I'm going to log in using an account I've already set up. Boom, and there's my token. Okay, thanks for listening. Hope you found it useful.